Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Kurt Crosswing fifth wheel trailer hitch. So this is what the Crosswing looks like hooked up to our trailer and installed in our truck bed. Now it's composed of three main components. We have the base here, we have the center section slash head, and then we have this part here which installs on the trailer. So this three piece design makes installation very easy and also makes everything really easy to get out when you're done towing because everything is very lightweight. That's one of the key features of this particular fifth wheel hitch in regards to the weight. Therefore, it's easy for one person to get it in and out of the truck bed by themselves without having extra help. That's one of the number one complaints we get of fifth wheel hitches is that they're just too heavy to get in and out of the truck bed themselves. And if you wanna make sure you have a nice clean bed, you do have to remove it. So if you need to haul other stuff, you do have to get the hitch out. This one here is very easy because this part is actually gonna be installed on the trailer. So that's one less thing that we have to lift. The center section here, we could actually remove this if we wanted to, but even with the center section still attached to the base, it's still pretty lightweight, definitely manageable for one person to get it in and out of the truck bed by themselves. On either side, we have these very comfortable grab handles. A lot of fifth wheel hitches, there really isn't a place to pick them up. Kurt has thought of that. These handles here, they feel nice on your hands. They have that rubber, so I'm not grabbing that black metal, which on a hot summer day can get pretty warm. So very easy to take in and out here and comfortable. So being lightweight and making it easier to get the hitch in and out of the truck bed is definitely something Kurt had in mind when they were designing this hitch. But there's also another thing they thought of, and that's gonna be ease of use. And what I mean by that is just simply coupling and uncoupling your trailer. So this particular hitch here uses a unique design that I have not seen before on the market, but it truly makes things very, very easy to couple your trailer and unhook. And the reason for that is we have a much greater visibility due to the funnel system that they use here. We can actually, from the driver's seat, just look back out the rear window and I can see how the trailer part aligns with this part here on the vehicle, making for a very, very simple hookup. So in addition to our fifth wheel hitch being lightweight and very, being very easy to couple, we're not gonna be sacrificing any performance. So this is sort of a lightweight modest hitch, but we're still gonna get some of the other features of some of those premium hitches, such as the built-in ride quality. So Kurt uses a shop drop technology here with this particular hitch. And basically what they mean by that is we have a rubber cushion in the center section here that allows to, uh, it allows to support the trailer better. So we're gonna get much more of a cushioned ride. We're not gonna get that chucking and jarring like we do with some of the other fixed just metal on metal hitches. That extra cushioning is overall gonna equate to a much smoother towing experience in our vehicle because it's gonna keep our trailer much more sturdy and sound. It's not gonna be bouncing around all over the place, chucking and jarring, making for an uncomfortable ride. The shop drop technology here is really a game changer when you combine it with those other features, making everything very easy to use, very easy to get in and out of the truck bed, and also providing a very nice ride quality. So the Crosswing is a fixed fifth wheel hitch. There isn't any slide mechanism you need to engage to get more cab clearance. And what we know about fixed fifth wheel hitches is that they're primarily designed for low long bed trucks. Now we can obviously still use the Crosswing with a long bed truck, that would be perfectly okay. But something they've incorporated into this hitch to allow for greater turning clearance on those short bed trucks is an offset coupler. It's actually offset five inches to the rear, which is gonna give you more cab clearance between the loft on your trailer and the cab on your truck. Now, that's not to say that this is gonna allow for full 90 degree turns with every trailer and short bed truck option. You would need to go ahead and measure beforehand, but chances are there is a lot of trailers and trucks out there that'll still allow for those full turns due to the offset coupler. So with our fifth wheel hitch, we're actually gonna get a lube plate included. Now, this is probably not a deciding factor in whether or not you're gonna buy this hitch, but I really like that Kurt throws this in extra for you guys. It's gonna cut down on messing with that messy grease, keeping it inside of the cab and applying it each time you couple your trailer. It's gonna keep everything nice and smooth, protecting the skid plate on your trailer and the hitch here. And again, Kurt gives this, so it's not something you have to buy separately, which I think is a great idea. 
Like most fifth wheel hitches, we can actually adjust the hitch head height here of the cross wing depending on our truck and trailer combo. So with this one here, we get 14 inches of adjustment all the way down to 16 and 3 eighths, all the way up to 20 and 3 eighths. And that's just simply measuring from the top of the rails to the top of the skid plate here on the fifth wheel hitch. So no matter what truck and trailer combo you have, you should be able to get it level here with the adjustability that this hitch offers. So in regards to compatibility, this uses an industry standard mounting design that pretty much every other truck is going to have if you have above bed rails. So if you do have a set of above bed rails, you're gonna be able to use this Kurt hitch, no matter if it's from Kurt, Reese, Demco, B&W, all of those different brands use the same spacing there of their above bed rails. So you're gonna be able to use the Kurt crosswing. So if you don't already have a set of in-bed rails in your truck, make sure you check out our fit guide so you can get the correct ones here for this fifth wheel hitch. Now, in addition to the rail mounting style, there's also another option here for this hitch. So it's the same hitch, but the attachment style is a little bit different. It's gonna be one that just simply installs on a gooseneck hitch ball. So in regards to weight capacity, this fifth wheel hitch is gonna be rated for 20,000 pounds of the gross trailer weight and then 5,000 pounds of the vertical load rating. That's otherwise gonna be known as the pin weight. Now, in regards to that gross trailer weight rating, so that's gonna be known as GVWR on the trailer, ghost vehicle weight rating. That's the most your trailer can weigh. So just make sure that your trailer is under that 20,000 pound rating, the GVWR that is, and you'll be good to go. So we just took the cross wing for a spin here around our test course here at E-Trailer. Now, granted, I really didn't get to spend a whole lot of time with this. It's not like I put several hundred miles on this, so just keep that in mind. But overall, I was very impressed with this. The trailer was nice and secure. There wasn't a lot of bouncing around, chucking and jarring, and we did take it out on a speed bump course. So we definitely put it through its paces in that aspect. And overall, I was very impressed. I really do like this fifth wheel hitch. It is kind of a game changer from being lightweight, very easy to couple and it performs extremely well as we just found out. To start off our installation today we need to do some measurings. What we're going to do is we're going to park our fifth wheel trailer on a nice flat and level surface, go ahead and chalk the wheels and then we're going to level out the trailer using the landing gear jacks. Now once we have that done we need to take a measurement. We're going to be measuring from the ground to the bottom of the skid plate on the king pin box or if it has a lube plate you're going to measure from the bottom to the lube plate. So we're gonna go ahead and take this measurement and then note it for future use. So now we're gonna come over here to our vehicle and we're gonna be measuring from the ground to the top of the bed plus the height of our base rail. So we'll go ahead and measure to the top of the bed and then I'll measure the base rail separately and add that to our measurement. So now once we have those two measurements, we're gonna be taking the truck measurement here and subtracting that from the measurement we took on the trailer to give us our hitch head height. So you can see here, we have two different parts to our installation. We have the base assembly, and then we have the head assembly with the center section. So on our head assembly with the center section, you're gonna see our three adjustment holes here. So this is gonna be used to set the hitch head height. Now if we take a look at our base here, you're gonna see this large hole in the center. So this is gonna be secured into one of these three holes here for our center section using the included bolt, the spacer, that goes through the front, and then on the back side, we have a flat washer and a hex nut. So go ahead and do the math there so you get the correct setting. And then we can go ahead and place the two assemblies together and secure them at the desired hitch head height. Now keep in mind, if we can't get the trailer and the vehicle within the range that our fifth wheel hitch offers, you can sometimes make adjustments to the kingpin on the trailer. So just keep that in mind. It's really gonna vary between your particular setup and your truck and trailer combo. Next, we'll go ahead and torque down that center bolt there. We're gonna be using a 30 millimeter socket for this and a torque wrench. And we also have a crescent wrench to hold the bolt head side, but if you have another 30 millimeter socket or wrench, you can use that as well. So now I'm ready to lift the fifth wheel hitch into the truck bed here. Before I do that, I am gonna remove the head section here because this actually attaches to the bottom of the kingpin on the trailer. So we don't need to have that installed. We're gonna go ahead and lift up this bail pin and clip here. You're gonna press in on the handle, then you're gonna rotate up and then pull out. Once we do that, we can remove this section here. Okay. 
Now once we have the hitch into position in the truck bed here, go ahead and install all of your pins and clips and then we'll head over to the trailer for our installation there. So here is the part that installs onto the trailer here. This is what it looks like. And basically the center section here is just gonna slide right up and over our kingpin. And then we're gonna secure it on the sides here with our included half inch bolts. So we do wanna make sure that we're putting pressure upward on this section so it's flush to the bottom of the lube plate. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and install our bolts. Once we got them loosely installed here, we're gonna take a three quarter inch socket and wrench and go ahead and tighten them down. And then we'll torque them to the specifications in your instructions. And once we have our hardware torqued down, we do wanna make sure that this can spin freely on the kingpin like so. So now that we have both the vehicle and our trailer set up, we're ready to go ahead and couple everything together. And once that's done, that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the Kurt Crosswing fifth wheel trailer hitch.